YouTube. Um, carrying on from uh, penciling this uh, picture of Death's Head here. Um, you would have seen my previous videos on, on that, so penciling all of this. Um, in this series of videos, carrying on from directly from that, um, I'm going to be filming myself inking uh, this blue line print of the pencils. So what I took was I taken the uh, did was just take the original pencils, um, enlarge them on, and then print them out onto A3. So I'm going to be uh, inking those. Um, in the last series of videos, also I said that I hadn't read any Death's Head, um, so I picked up this. Um, I fully recommend that it's a, an omnibus of Death's Head. Um, absolutely amazing, 400 pages. Um, you can find it in most uh, good retailers. Um, but yeah, well worth it. Um, I do seem to remember now that uh, I did get the first five or six editions of uh, or issues of uh, Dragon's Claws back in the day, um, and I'd forgotten that Death Head, Death's Head actually uh, appeared in that. So anyway, um, let's start off by. <laughs> Doing a little bit of inking, so I'm try and keep these to five minute segments. These uh, films, so let's see now. I'll start off somewhere fairly easy to start the inking process. Um, unfortunately, I don't know too much about Death's Head just yet, um, which is unfortunate, maybe. So I'll probably talk a bit more about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as I go along. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do that cloak. And I'm just selecting which pen I'm going to use. I've got a load of pens that I'm trying to keep the nibs nice and sharp on them at the moment. Um, so as I can do details. And I've got other pens uh, which have been blunted for use. Um, so I'm trying to so I'm trying to use those to do a lot of stuff at the moment. Sort of what I do is, is I sort of swap between them. So anything like the face, I'll use the pens that have a nice sharp point to them, so I can get all the very accurate details. And anything like the blocking, I'll use older pens um, that are a little bit more blunted. Again, I'm using these curved tools. probably do a lot of the blocking off camera. Um, you don't really need to see a lot of that. Um, again, go for a shoulder pad. Even though I warmed up, I was still very much feeling my way into this picture. Um, I hadn't really sort of thought about it before I started filming. So, when I go to turn off uh, to do the next segment, I'll turn the camera off and have a, a good look at the picture and uh, make 
make sure I know what I want to do first. Uh, sort of just got into it a bit cold. Just a good thing to do. straps to hold his shoulder pads together here. Okay, so it's not much, but I'll see you in the next part. Okay, thanks very much, and uh, please click and uh, on uh, click like on uh, this video, and uh, maybe subscribe to Two Thousand TV. See you soon. Bye bye.